All right, guys, I am back with the final flip through of this little lady, and I decided to go ahead and um, add some more stuff to the cover to kind of make it feel complete. Um, and I originally had planned on a tassel, but the one that I made just didn't seem like it, it fit with this journal. Um, so she doesn't have one, but she is um, tassel ready. If somebody um, is a great tassel maker and wants to make one to finish off their journal, that they could do that too. Um, and um, these, this is not vintage lace here, but these pieces are, and I don't know about this because this was a happy mail. And, um, but this is, and then this little piece came from Amy at a glamping bear and I, she might have some of that listed in her shop. I'm not sure. It's been a few days since I've been over to anybody's shop. So, um, let's just get started. This journal measures about five and a half inch or five and three quarters by nine inches there. And at it, at her widest point, she's about two and a half inches wide, just a little over. Okay, and um, just a reminder that the book is a vintage book from 1946, and I believe it is World's Greatest Events is the name of that one. So, um, not that you could tell it now because it's been all covered up. Um, so let's just get started. And this one will probably be pretty quick because we've already you've gone with me every step of the way to make it. So, all right, so we have our fabric pockets here and on the back. And then these are the tags that we made in the orange challenge here and here. Um, the first signature is 14 pages and we'll have to count the second signature. I didn't do that yet. Um, there's a pocket here with the journaling tag in here, backed with green for the green challenge. Okay. These are some of Amy's gorgeous background kits that or background pages that come in the kit. And these are Denise's stained paper kit. More of the kit paper. Um, and a little envelope that we made in the challenge. It does not have anything as of yet in that pocket yet. Little tag we made in the challenge. Um, this is Denise's paper. This is paper in the kit. Another background paper from the kit. My avocado. And then these are tea and coffee stain throughout. Um, blue cabbage. Um, a little pocket we made in the green challenge. A little card there. Um, and this is some of Lori's um, green papers. Some of the um, pages that come in the kit. Then we come to our hidden pockets with um, decorated with our ladies. There's four cards in each one. And they are pretty snug. I don't think you're going to have to worry about the cards falling out. I mean, you can shake it and it doesn't. And I probably just made you really dizzy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just wanted to show they're, they're pretty well in there. They're not going to go anywhere. Some more of the background or the kit pages here. Now we come to the back side of that signature. Uh, pocket that we made in the challenge. Our tag up there. Back side of those uh, dyed papers. Here's a pocket that comes in the kit and here's two of the tags that come in it. Okay. Um, this came from Glamping Girl. Glamping bear, not girl, right? Glamping bear, I think. And then this is a little um, pocket tag that we made in the orange challenge. Some more of the kit background papers there. And then you were with me when we made this. Sorry, there was just a little bit of buzz there, okay. Um, and this is one we made in the orange challenge. And um, those are the um, the free kit that we, or the free pages we got from Amy at Crafty Cat. And if you remember, these slide down like that. And it, there's little journaling cards in there. Okay, little bunnies. 
And this one has little chicks on it. And those just those hinges just swing closed. Okay, and then here's this pocket right here. Okay, now we come to the second signature, and I'm gonna count these really quick. Three, four, five, six, seven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep, 13. And why it's 13 is because this was supposed to be like the 14th piece in there. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> it still looks good where it is. All right, and so here's some more of the kit background pages. Some more of the background pages there. A kit that comes in the, a kit, a pocket that comes in the kit. And then we just did this, by the time you see this, probably two days ago. A little one there. Some more cabbage dyed papers. And this pocket we made in the challenge. Oh, and this little guy is pretty tight in there. A little card we made together two days ago. And then a little tiny card that we made in the challenge, the green challenge. Some more Denise's avocado. Are the background pages there. More papers that come in the kit. A little pocket here with a little bit of um, or a tag there. A journaling card, I should say. And I think, I can't remember, because this is actually the second time I've filmed this. Um, I can't remember if I said it in the last, like, when, at the front of the book or not, but the this um, piece was from Lori, and um, I just cut it down and made cute little pockets for it. All right, there's a pretty back or uh, kit paper here, and then um, this is our little tall tag here. Or tall pocket with like a I, I don't know if you want to call it a tall tag or tall card or bookmark whichever you want and then this little journaling card slips in there a little butterfly on it another one of the collage papers in the kit and then we have this little bag here and I've slipped in the green um, envelope that we made together in the 60 minute challenge and then I just, um, I just inked, um, this bag actually came from Lori too, and I just inked it up a little bit and put one of the uh, kit ephemeras on it. I think we did that together. Are those dyed papers. And then we come to another kit, uh, pocket that we made in the 60 minute challenge with the little bunny card in there. Okay guys. All right, and that does it for this project. Um, thank you all so much for watching. And um, this little guy will be listed Monday morning, which is April 7th. Um, and I don't know that it will make it to you by Easter because I think Easter is the following Sunday. But obviously, if you want it, like it. Um, if it's in the States, I can get it mailed out like Monday afternoon. So. All right, guys, I hope you guys are having a splendid afternoon, and we will just talk to you later. Bye, guys.